everybody, this is Arrowkit Friend, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to increase uh, your FPS in the squad game. The um, squad is a simulation, or, or it's an army simulation based on the Unreal Engine 4. And uh, yeah, they just uh, did a patch, the V8 patch. Uh, performance are really, are better now. Uh, but still, I will show you a lot of like different way that you can improve your FPS. First of all, um, the first thing that you maybe can try it's the set launch option in the, um, Steam. Now just right click properties set launch option and put SM4 and D3 D10. You will go uh, straight up with the Direct X10, uh, and this way you will increase uh, your FPS. It works great for Arc, uh, but you will lose like some effects, lighting effects, and all those stuff that the Direct Direct X11 can bring to you, but you will see a nice increase uh, depending on your computer. But you can see 8 to 11 FPS. That's that's, that's a lot. So uh, yeah, first thing you you maybe should try without touching everything. After that, um, you should go to your local disk users, uh, the name of your users, Ape Data, local, squad, uh, save, config, Windows at no editor. Go to your game user setting and over there you can change a lot of stuff for sure if you lower stuff you will have more fps but the one that you need to um, to change it's the shadow quality make sure that you put that one at zero and save it you can also do it in the um in the in, in game just put low and low will equal zero uh, also, you will have some nice improvement if you uh, lower the view distance quality and anti-aliasing, but uh, you will have, um, for anti-aliasing, you will decrease the visual of your game and view distance, you will see less in front of you. But this one, you can gain a nice chunk of FPS, 4 to 6 for each bracket, and for shadow, it's pretty big. If you go to ultra, uh, to low, you can gain 15 FPS just to put this one at zero. Okay, so make sure you're saving this one. Close it. After that, uh, we will go to the Steam library, Steam app, common, squad, and engine. Okay, when you're there, click on the config. After that, select uh, da, 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 base killability. Okay, this one. Make sure at shadow quality when it's zero, make sure to put everything at zero except the max re resolution. So here, just do zero, zero, zero everywhere and save it. Okay, I will not do it because I don't need that. And you can click X. Lax, last file that you can change, it's the, the in the um, Steam app, command, squad, squad again, config, and use the default scalability again at shadow quality just put everything at zero okay so everything at zero make sure that you keep the uh, 1024 because a lot of server just like force you to use that zero there zero there and save it again so just by changing changing this uh, you will gain depending again your computer but you can gain 13 to 22 fps i saw a big improvement with this just by removing completely the shadows of the game uh shadows on unreal engine 4 is crazy if you look a game like arc the calling you just remove the shadow and you got a lot of fps i don't know why the way like they treat the shadow uh probably bottleneck with your um your cpu if you, you don't have a nice cpu because shadow uh, a lot of game are using the CPU to, to render shadows. So yeah, that's about it. So for sure, again, view distance is a big thing in this game, so you can lower it and stuff, but just start with the shadows. And after that, maybe try my uh, set launch option and you will have a nice uh, chunk of FPS for sure. So um, don't forget to follow me. And also uh, you can uh, comment in the YouTube section, just post me your rig. Uh, CPU, GPU, RAM, etc. And I will try to help you the best that I can. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye.